We started this year off, uh, or actually almost a year ago, doing a lot of research. And we went and talked to users around the country, um, did some focus groups, and what we found was this is a pretty stale category, honestly. The, this, you know, these news apps have been out there for four or five years and haven't changed a whole lot. They're really lists of headlines. And some people have thrown a little video in, but there's not that much going on to them. And our goal with this is to say, hey, how can we freshen this up and deliver something more valuable? Now, push alerts are something that people have started to get with news apps, and they're getting really noisy. Right? They're just getting overwhelmed with them. They're promotional. They're not relevant. But when they are relevant they're and timely, they're delightful, right? because they let you know something before anyone else did. Um, and so we thought, hey, we could really reinvent this space if we went after this personalized push category um, and told people in real time what's going on, which fits very well with video. It's what television has always been for. When news is breaking, you flip on the TV. Without a lot of extra work, you, you're right into the story. right? You're taken to the, to the event. And since we have live video streams flowing into this video 24-7 um, with a lot of interesting content, you know, an amazing amount of content, um, the app is a really well-suited delivery mechanism for that. Um, so our goal is basically that users can sign up for alerts that are relevant to them. And we tell them when news is breaking on topics they care about. Um, we don't get too broad, so it's very specific to individual stories that they're interested in. Just because you sign up for an alert about the new iPad doesn't mean we're going to start sending you an alert on the, I, you know, the Apple stock price changing or something that's a little bit related, but not exactly. Uh, and then we can drive you right into live video. We can take you to background stories. We can catch you up every day. Um, the really big innovation here is that we've put an inbox in the app, which is one, I think we're one of the first mainstream news uh, apps to do that. And um, we think that that's going to be a great management th device for users, because everyone wants to be the first to know, but we all also get overwhelmed. And after a couple hours maybe away from your phone buzzing, you need a way to catch up. And so the idea is you can get the, the alerts on your lock screen all day long as you want them, but then when you get overwhelmed, there's the inbox waiting for you to catch up. I just came back from the online news conference in Atlanta last week, and everyone wanted to know, is it apps? Is it mobile web? And the answer is both, clearly. Um, the apps are the vi really driving video consumption um, because it's just such a great experience. And the mobile web is driving your reach because people are going to come in from a lot of side doors that you couldn't predict. So I think they go together really well. And the challenge for us as product designers is to think about how does the app take it beyond what the web can do. The web can do a lot. Um, and so that's where features like personalized push, live video, live radio, things that you can do in the background with a device um, through an app that you just can't really do on mobile web, I think are really valuable for our sort of super serve, our, our loyal customers. It's a really exciting area. I mean, mobile video is here. Uh, it is here in a very big way, and we are so excited about it. I think it kind of started on the tablets, um, but it has gotten to the phones. In the last couple of years, we've been blown away. I mean, we're up to tens of millions of users a month on mobile across all of our different platforms. And this is a big operation for us, and we're doing millions and millions of video streams. Um, people are watching video on their phones like we never thought was possible two years ago, and the network speed is a big help. Um, the, you know, people also use these devices everywhere, and, and they use them at home, too. Um, don't forget, I think about a third of our iPhone app usage is on Wi-Fi. So people are using that at home when they're at night on the couch watching TV or doing other things. And it's a great complimentary experience, right? You've got, you've got the device in your hand. Maybe you're, you're not, you don't think to reach for the tablet some nights. You just have the phone right there. You start watching video, and we get you into it, and you just keep going. Um, so we're seeing tons of video consumption on Wi-Fi and on cellular, uh, on phones and on tablets. And uh, I think the, the corner we're trying to turn with this one is uh, with some features like watch and read that let users keep doing it multitask. Um, you know, the, the tr traditional problem with video on the phone is it takes over the whole screen. And it kind of stops you from, from doing other things. And you know, to be honest, there's some, there's some wind up involved in these videos and, and opening and explaining things. And maybe you kind of already have that in, your, in the back of your head from having skimmed the headlines. So what we're letting people do now is tap the video, have it playing at the top of the story, keep reading the text at the bottom. And that way, they can glance up and down as, as uh, it's relevant to them. A couple years, we really hardly had video in our, our mobile suite. Um, and we've, we, we're trying to get it on you know, as many pages as it's relevant to helping us tell a story.